and I'll share the screen. Right, so today we have to write about the coding systems and uh, when we are doing it, I'll give you the examples how we are going to represent uh, some values using coding system and what kind of a questions that you can receive uh, through this, right? All right, so let's start, uh, quickly start writing. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to uh, take a start for the fourth lesson as well, right? So let's uh, quickly go through this, right? So have the uh, subheading, coding systems, right? And uh, you don't need to uh, draw this particular diagram, but it illustrates how the things that we can see and how the computer sees those, right? We see it uh, like the uh, like icons, like pictures, like letters, right? Like audios, like videos. We saw things like that. And later in the uh, like when it comes to the computer side, the processor, operating system, all these things are seen the things as ones and zeros. Right, you will be getting some uh, noises from my little one, right? Please be hold with it. Okay, so coding system and under that, uh, what are we going to write? Yeah, it's better we uh, take down the first paragraph, people. Right, please copy it down quickly. Don't, uh, accord, uh, don't say according to the above figure. Hold on, people. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, started from here, when, from the word when. Let me know when you are done, people. <clears throat> uh, Ruan, the one who participate now, right? But are we uh, start writing the coding systems. We put the coding system heading, and we copy the uh, this part of the first paragraph, right? Uh, it's better you highlight uh, if you got the book, right? So you can write it. Uh, when you get the time. So one is done. How about others?
Okay, two are done. All right, so let's move forward. So you can use, <clears throat> write this heading, BCD by recorded decimal. And after that, within back brackets, you better say four bit representation. Right after writing the uh, BCD dash binary coded decimal, it's better you say, Four bit representation. Ah, Ruben, uh, Ruben, I am recording the lesson, uh, Ruben. You can refer it uh, from the website, Buddha. If you want, just record by yourself. It doesn't matter. But anyway, I'm recording it, Buddha. I'm uh, putting it to the website. So you can refer it from there. And uh, people, is there anyone uh, who does not know how to refer the recordings from the website? If so, I can uh, show it now. Uh, it doesn't matter when uh, if you got record and I'm recording it anyway, so you can refer it uh, at any time. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, after bind recorded decimal, you have to write within brackets four bit representation. Let me write it for you. Let me write it for you. So after your heading, just write this four bit representation. Like with your with your uh, particular uh, topic. People, just a second. Right, and uh, people, this is uh, just for the information. You can uh, refer any of my uh, recordings through my uh, website, right? Most of you know about th this. So for the new people, the website address is starlabs.lk, right? Starlabs.lk, right? So once you've given that, you will be taken to a website like this, right? So in that, you have lesson recording menu. So under that, there are several recordings. You have to refer Starlabs recording. Once you touch on this Starlabs recording, so under this Starlabs, there are several different classes. These are A-level classes that I'm doing. So for each class, there is a player, right? So scroll this down, so you will find your own class, right? Which is the grade 10, 2021 sessions, right? So this is the last week lesson that we have done, right? So uh, it will be like that. The latest lesson will be at the top. You can see it on the web page. So if you want to refer the earlier ones, you can click on this hamburger icon. You know what is the hamburger icon is, right? The one which is at the very left corner. The memage mouse pointer again open, right? So once you click on it, you can see the recordings we have done, right? So from the very first day 
until today you can have the recordings so you can click on it and you can refer right right so uh, this is this is uploaded to youtube and uh, like exported to here imported to here so you can go to the uh, uh, youtube channel and watch it as well right over look then me the play karot right and uh, yeah i think you can hear the sound so you once you touch on the youtube it will open from the youtube right so last right, week uh, we have done all four conversions like uh, all right so <clears throat> likewise you can refer any of the lessons of mine so they will be here available 365 days 24/7 basis doesn't matter you can come and uh, watch it and uh, for the people uh, like uh, since you are having this educational packages and all these things but then youtube them a hammer service provider kenek ma denawa ogalanta neda packages denawa ne so it will be much easier for you to watch it on the youtube metana baluwa youtube ekken ma thamai metan to load wenne right but uh, if you want you can just uh, click on the youtube icon right over here metan thiyena ne me youtube icon ekka click karala so just uh, go to the youtube channel right that me metana me at your right hand side it is the same playlist you got right so there the lessons are been uh, stacked in according to the uh, days we have done right so you can watch one by one in any case you want right okay so let's uh, move to the lesson so i told you to write four bit representation right after the heading b c d binary coded decimal then at the right side of the uh, heading we wrote it four bit representation right and under this let's write these things you start it from here up to here right copy this down under the binary coded decimal right once you are done with it i will write you an example okay are we done okay all right so you can write this particular example after that so these are the examples
So I'm illustrating you how to figure out the BCD code. You always write it uh, in four bits. That's why I told you it's a four bit representation. So to create seven, four plus, two plus, one. So this is going to be your BCD code. So which will lead you zero one 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 BCD. Right? And this is example one. And here comes example two. So all these four positions is always have these place values. So how are we going to uh, create two? Zero over here, zero over here, one over two, and zero over one. How we are going to create three? It's zero, zero, one, one. Ah, Ravindu, it's not uh, it's not ten Ravindu. What we are doing is we represents this decimal value in BCD. That is what we are doing, Ravindu. Right? So BCD is a different kind of representation method, Buddha. Like we uh, represent the. Uh, uh, decimal values in binary. Uh, Ravindo, I'm not getting you. In the topic means? Ah, like you mean like binary coded decimal? Are you talking about the D, the, the letter D, at, like which represents decimal? Ravindu, is that clear? So we write the right, okay. Great, great. So we write the answer as zero zero one zero 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 one one as b c d right so likewise if you are given a decimal value with three characters each and every character is going to represent in four bits right so write down the examples. And there is this uh, chart in your textbook. I'm not going to practice you that. We don't need to memorize. We are smart enough to figure out uh, from the place values, right? Make a matagati aganda. Own a matanakata make over. Right? Chart a kuna over the chart a matagati aganda. What are the pattern skill? Right? It already up in the current video than a gun. So practice that it's a very simple thing to do.
Let me know when you are done, people. All right, we are done. Okay, so we can move to the uh, other one. Are we done people? I'm going to change the screen. Is it okay? Right. So here we go. And they have given you some examples and some activities. Uh, I think you got the idea. Let's do some activities with the ASCII, right? Okay. So here comes the next one, ASCII. So write it. Write the heading. And after the heading, this is a seven bit representation. So like we wrote four bit representation with BCD, here you are going to write after the heading, open the bracket and say seven bit representation. Right, seven bit representation. Yeah, uh, it's better you write the entire thing, people. There are things that we have to learn. Right. And at the last line, you can find uh, who is designed and approved the ASCII code. We call it ANSI, American National Standard Institute. Right. So it's better you remember what stands for BCD, what stands for ASCII what stands for EBCDIC, right? Because those can be the, uh, can be some MCQs in your papers, right? So it's better you remember, right? So write down the heading, within brackets write seven bit representation, then this particular thing. Let me know if you are done.
Okay, one is done. How about others? All right, let's uh, move to the diagram. And uh, yeah, just a second, people. Just give me a second. Okay. I want to uh, refer this appendix. Yeah. Now I am referring this is, I let you know, right now, uh, this is the Tesandu, Apipute, Ekapitu, Akatat, Aduing, Liaga, Nete. Yes. Oh. CR book ke karan pitu baagya kitra liya ne thi pude, right? It's just uh, half a, half of a page. CR book ke karan normal ek karan ekapi tuwa, right? Right. Now here at the end of your book, like end of your lesson, right? After the summary, like uh, in the page number hundred and two, right? Page number hundred and two, they have given you an appendix, right? Right, this one, right now this appendix shows you how the characters how the characters are uh, like available in the number systems now here we got decimal number system at the first column hexadecimal octal ebcdic characters and ascii characters right so now let's see now here they are referring to the uh, characters right over here. They may udati ene kapi te charma meaningful when ne ekasare right. But I'll show you a place where you find that. Then mataka the agan na E B C D I C T N ne to many column meke and S K is in the last column right. So see what happens over here, right? Look at this, yeah. Now in the ASCII code, ASCII came, the, came in the very last manner. In the ASCII code for A, capital A, they use 0, 065, the decimal value, and B, they use 066, C, 067, D, 068, right? So you have to remember, remember means like you don't need to remember what are the numbers, but you have to remember the pattern. Then Vibhageta Ogalanta Dena question Nekaktamai, they will give you a particular code and say it is the code which belongs to this particular letter. Then they will ask, find the uh, binary pattern for this particular word, right? Then you have to uh, have the relation. You, you should have the idea how the ASCII codes behave. Then, api A apura gana dhanna wana, A apura, A apura ta dhalavati yana value beka 65 na. So we can easily find what is the value for F, neither? 
So it's up it ganankarana thi neither. Only we have to count A, B, C, D, E, F. So there are like uh, six downings. So like 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. So we find out we can find out F is going to be 70. Right? So likewise, we will be able to figure out what are the values belongs to the letters once a particular value regarding a letter is given. Alphabetic letter, iteri letter, so numbers which is very easy. Then we have to represent those values which belongs to the letters in binary according to the coding system that they are addressing. Because the ASCII ket me pattern ne katiye na right? Me kani last column me ka, na ita khaliin column me ke me tani ne E B C D I C ne. Me E B C D I C ek toye bat na kati na me A B C D E F G H I C. Kodi venas kamak tiye na but adjacent kiye na ka they got right. Especially when it comes to the ASCII, it goes the same way, right? So it's better you remember. When it comes to the ASCII codes, when you know a particular character, the rest of the characters are aligned or ordered with it. Right? Then we can example right? So let's go and see the example in here. See? Here in the ASCII code, they say when the word school is entered into the computer through the keyboard, write down how it is understood by the computer. Ah, Tesandu, it's not the same thing with a table deke columns or the n ekinekata venas code systems with them. Right? Okay. Now, here in the example, they are talking. Right here in the example, they are talking about the ASCII code. Right. And the example that they are taking is when the word school is entered into the computer through the keyboard. Write down how it is understood by the computer. So the text is school, right? So here what happens, see? First write the decimal numbers for the symbol, right? So S belongs to the 83, C belongs to the 99, H belongs to the 104, O belongs to the 111, I belongs to the 108. Then oka kohoma the uni me balanda ko. Now you know the alphabet, right? So here they have capital S. Simple C, this is capital, this is a capital word. Simple C, simple H, simple O, simple L. Then C again, the simple C again, the lagato capital sticky to win the end, right? If I show you the table again, one capital up to get the new DNA the kid. See, here we go. See, capital S. There you go. Hmm. C 83, capital S is 83. 
right? Simple letters, they are on the other side. This is for E, B, C, D, I, C. They are the simple letters of the S, T. Uh, it page. Ah, no, 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 it's 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 it. next page. See, simple A starts from 97. Ah, no, Tesandu, a Egolo school key and a key different Akurutika Yaragan at the end of the day. O Akura, the Sarak in one, Ekisaika, Ekasarak, Salakala, Lianapoda, the para clear at the Right. Let me pahaling represent the Latin. Right. It's intended to order figure out way. Right. So here I'm I'm trying to show you the uh, the relationship between these. Now, if simple C is ninety nine. Up alphabetic comma then it's going to be D E F G H, right? So D will be hundred, E will be hundred and one, F will be hundred and two, G will be hundred and three, and H will be hundred and four. So that is how H is getting hundred and four. So the table illustrate that as well, but that is the logic. Api a kapurak dan nakota, apita pulwang, takala, and itapuru and ambeka hoyagand. Is it clear, people? I make here peka clear. Everyone? When you know one particular uh, number of a letter, you can find the numbers of the other letters or the values of the other letters. Then you make a C key and a kina, then again, in an appetite, a carpura value the cup. Then, this particular letter, its value is this. Take a deal at the my watch any hoyan the kia. Is that clear, everyone? Yeah, great. Then H can 100. Oh my god. People, just a second, just a second. Right. Then, uh, if we continue the alphabet, EFGH. Yes, yes, Tesandu. It's it's uh, not the ten to the powers puta. It's the basis ten decimal value. Right. Yes, 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 yes. So then E F G H I J K L. Now L is hundred and eight. Ne the mean one zero five, one zero six, one zero seven, one zero eight. So L is 108. Meter 108 kilo around H is 104. K L M N O N again 109, 110, 111. The O K N 111. See. So we can find the relation if something is given to us. Right, the metronome may go refer to the Kelim graphicking, but a bit then is we bahagi the may pressure do not. It can be like this the letter C contains the value 99, so find the ASCII code representation of this code. Have I eaten a dinner quarter? Ogalanda may capital simple mix color then, right? Ogalanda humbene. Simple and simple, Mahambe, no capital and capital, Mahambe, right? It's a complex current, capital simple mix current, right? So, you now you know the uh, 
relationship, right? So let's uh, write that into our knot, right? So I think you have uh, written this paragraph. So after that, underneath it, let's write the example. Let's write the example like this. So the first example, letter A has the decimal value. I'm giving some assuming value, right? 23 in ASCII. Find the binary representation according to the ASCII code, right? So it is very easy, right? So V A is equals to 23 in decimal. So ASCII code contains seven bits, right? So we have to specify 23 in seven bits. Tesandu, we wrote uh, the very first one, Puta. And I'm going to take a look at the ASCII. We have to take a look at the ASCII. We have to this in page number 97, at the bottom of page number 97. So 23 is going to represent by what? By a code which contains seven bits. Yeah. Right? So for seven bits, what are the uh, place values? We got one, two, four, eight, 16. 32 and 64, right? So how we are going to represent uh, 23? So just uh, make 23 out of these numbers. The main numbers fill in 23. We don't need 64 because it is larger than 23. We don't need 32. It is larger than 23 as well. So we got the others. So definitely we need 16. 16 to kiya ke kato naam the 23 hai then we need another 7. So that means 4 plus 2 plus 1. So 0 over 8. So this is going to be your ASCII code. So ASCII code means 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 in ASCII. Right. Uh, Right, so this is in ASCII. Right, Theravada, got it? Okay. So write it down, I'll write the second uh, example over here.
right now in this second example what they are saying is letter b contains a decimal value 40 find the ascii code for letter b word b b means like b e right so then what we are going to do is we are going to write b in ascii and e in ascii then we plot them together that's all so the place values are 1 2 4 8 16 32 and 64 same goes here 1 2 4 8 16 32 and 64 then we are creating we are creating the 40 how we are going to create 40 32 need 1 64 we don't need so 32 plus 8 will give you 40 so this is the value of the b right and e is 43 so we don't need 64 we need 32 plus 8 it is 40 plus 2 it is 42 and plus 1 it is 43 so rest of the things are zero tisandra yes very good very good, very good. And uh, Tisandara, I think something missing your answer, do What that balance? Right. So the letter, no, the word B. Uh, Dolabutala, please change this into the capital E, Dolabutala, otherwise uh, it's going to be a problem, right? So BE word can be represented as 01010000 and 01010111. This is the ASCII. Terunada, confirm. Tisandra, did you find your error? Dua? Right. Okay, so write it down, people. So if the question comes like this, this is the way that you are going to figure it out. Right? Very easy and very logical. Right. Okay, one is done. How about others? All right. So we are moving to the next part, which is the EBCDIC. Extended binary code decimal interchange code EBCDIC. So write down the heading and within brackets after the heading, ethanama within brackets eight bit representation. Eight bit representation. And regarding the EBCD, I see. Yeah, starting from here. Copy it up to this point.
right? Yes, Tesandu, we only write the highlighted part. Yes, yes. Right, okay. How about others? Are we done, people? All right. Okay, I'm going to move forward. And here in the, uh, this table shows you what are the uh, different values that have for capital letters and simple letters in EBCDIC, which we don't need to worry, like it goes the same way as the ASCII shows, right? Uh, but they are not uh, very adjacent. Right? So as an example, as an example, let's write this thing, right? So this is the example for EBCDIC. And uh, hold on, I need to uh, have the confirmation from the big table. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it has A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Then they are starting J from 2,221. Yeah, yeah, it goes the same way. Right, so let's uh, try a very simple example. And this is easy, right? So A represented by 
and that is in decimal. So we need to write 93 in eight different digits. Right, so we uh, write the place values like one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. So how we are going to plot? No 128s, otherwise it should be larger than 128. For 93, it's 64 is needed. 64 plus 32 gives you 96. So then we don't use 32. Right? So for 64, to become it is 93, it needs 29 more. So 29, how we are going to create 29? So yes, 16 plus four is 20, eight plus one is nine. So 16 plus four is 20, eight plus one is nine. Right, so this is going to be the representation of 93. Let me recheck again, 64 plus 16, 70, and it is 80, 88, 92, and 93. Yes, that is correct. So the answer is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. E, B, C, D, I, C. Okay, copy it down, people. Okay, one is done. This one is very fast. How about others? Okay, so let's proceed. So the very last one, which is the Unicode. Now they have explained Unicode a little bit for you to understand how Unicode works. And I told you, Unicode is a one, a representation method, which use 16 bits, 16 bits per one character. The BCD will have which get four bits. In ASCII, it's a seven bits. In EBCDIC, we use eight bits. In Unicode, we use 16 bits to represent it. So I told you it's, it, it has the ability to uh, represent 65,000 odd number of characters. And what are these characters? Here we go, these are the characters. We got Tamil letters, we got single letters, we got uh, special symbols, emojis, English letters, Arabic letters, Chinese letters, there are many, right? And 
to represent each and every symbol that you can see here, right? It needs a different code or a unique code for each and every symbol. So just think about how many can be there, right? I wonder how, uh, I think sometimes Unicode is not sufficient to uh, uh, show things now, right? So it is growing, right? So as well as, right, uh, in, in a graphic, to represent the colors, they use unicorns as well, right? Now, what they have done is they took a rose flower and they just uh, referred it into a very small place of that flower. So the pixels are being expanded. So if you, if you expand it uh, further, you can see the uh, details, how it is being created, right? So even though, you will be see this kind of a picture, right? So there are reds, but different kinds of reds are here, right? So each and every different kind of red has a separate code, right? Metrana may go in a body code, but it is represented in. Unicode, right? All right. And look at the sounds, right? Sound has different places as well. There are ups and downs according to the sound wave. So they have to recognize each and every up and down sound waves, right? And even when it comes to the movie, it goes the same way. The, the pictures, the movie means like uh, moving pictures, right? Right? Eka tamay ka da movie skill na metra din, right? Eka is api photo ekka da kino ane still image eka kya na tara vechi ke. The photos high e move karna kora tamay api te eva rada karna ma kila pain, ane the chala ne eva no kila pain. That is why those are called movies, the moving things, movies, right? So Likewise, the unicodes can be used and is using to represent many different details, many different characters in the computer system, right? Okay, so let's write it down quickly, right? So unicode system and at the right side of it, within brackets, write 16 bit representation 16 bit representation can e b c d e kawage degunayak loku ya right right then you are going to write to this point and as well as these things.
right okay right so yeah and it's better you write this one as well people right All right. Okay. So that is the end of this lesson. Right. So I'm not going to uh, take examples from each and every place. Right. Um, Hold on, is there any? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Yes, now that concludes the lesson number three. Right, so then we are going to move to the lesson number four. And before that, before that, now this is something that you can uh, find the Unicode uh, single and Tamil letters. Right now, you got something called character map in your computer. Right, if you type character map, you can find character map in your computer. So once you open the character map, you can, it, it, it shows you the different kinds of fonts, which is installed on your computer. All the fonts, all the characters will be here. Right now we take a character like uh, a font like Arial. So they are there. Right, and I want you to take your concentration to somewhere here. Let me uh, let me take the uh, magnifier right over here. Right now, can you see there is something called see? U plus zero zero twenty one colon exclamation mark. So I have selected the exclamation mark over here. So that is why it is showing that. If I go to the advanced code view, can you see character set comes under the Unicode, right? And it shows you the unicode over there and if i change this to somewhere else 
And uh, yes, when I'm moving my mouse pointer, you can see the Unicode. See, here it is U plus 0021. If you move here, U plus 0022. Here U plus 0023. Now, it is, it is a way that they indicate the particular Unicode inside a particular language, right? So, likewise for each and every. Yes, Tesandu, not the words Tesandu, the characters, letter by letter, hammer character. A letter, a letter, a code, a represent color. It got a computer, a letter, a theorem gun. We are happy then, Liapu ones and zeros set to the Pavichigar. Processor, a theorem gun, a me happy, a my type curricula, a apura type unicode dega. Anne unicode dega ones and zeros will to convert color to my yaka theorem gun. Right? Got it, Tesando? Now, if we change this into a let's say a singular font, there are some singular fonts. Uh, we have to go with the Unicodes. Let's say there is a very uh, famous singular font called Iskola Potter. Right? So it, it has both singular and English words. Right, and these things are having different kinds of unicodes. See, see, so you can you can see the changes right over here. So the code is different. Right. So likewise. You can see how actually the unicodes are used inside this, right? Okay, so that's the end of the third lesson. And we are here to start the fourth. Now it's just four minutes are there. I'll brief you the lesson. What is the fourth one? So we can uh, start a fresh lesson by next week, right? So this logic gate with Boolean functions. Now here we are going to talk about how the signals are going to use inside the electronic science, right? Or like the in, in electronic devices, right? Electronic science killer can be a signals gana katakarana subject, right? So basically we are talking about how a signal is going to recognize by the computer. Right? So when it comes to the computers, it is ones and zeros that they can they have to understand. So signals are also being recognized as ones and zeros, right? So we are going to learn how these ones and zeros are going to process uh, when a particular gate receives those, right? So according to that, we get to know about different types of gates. They have some uh, funny names, which is called AND or NOT. Later you will find NAND, NOR, uh, kind of things, right? So we are going to learn about those, like one after the other, right? So then we are they are to create some circuits using this, right? So a circuit means like we are drawing the diagrams, right? And and then later we are given to design the diagrams, right? Regarding these particular gates, right? So it is the lesson what it is all about and. Uh, you will be getting uh, six to seven uh, MCQs using this lesson. And as well as definitely there is a one particular question in your second paper, uh, not, not the whole one, uh, just one part of the first question, which is the compulsory one, right? So uh, once we are done with this, we can go for the Excel lesson, right? So it will be, uh, Quite interesting. expressions right? And later we are uh, given the uh, uh, given to uh, understand when a, when a, when when particular scenario is given. 
uh, to that scenario, how we are going to uh, create a logic circuit with the uh, given details, right? So we just uh, do that particular thing and we are drawing a table called truth table, something like this, but not uh, as big as this, right? And uh, yeah, this is something very practical, right? So let's get to know, right? So some two, three weeks will take to finish up this lesson. And then we are through with the fourth as well, right? Okay, so people, uh, for today, I'm going to end the session from this point, since uh, if, we, if we start this, we have to like flow into this, right? So uh, for today, I'm going to end the session from here. So it's like almost 4, 3.59. So by next week, we are going to uh, have a new lesson, right? So get ready. Uh, we are going to do the fourth one and people uh, prepare like Exam make up mama dinner, but made us a validity of Vedinisa, paper a carry to fix the Ranaber in a right once I okay with it, I'll send you the message. So get ready with the previous sessions as well, right? And meanwhile, let's go through this, right? Okay, thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you on next week for the same time, right? Have a nice weekend, people. Yes, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Right, okay, thank you everyone.